Y'all see it, right? The Samsung Galaxy S21 has been announced. S21, S21 Plus, and S21 Ultra 5G have all been announced. And some of them will be coming late this month and others will be coming out later on in the month of February. It looks good, but why is it not coming with a charge brick? Why is Samsung copying Apple's bad choices? So, on that note, I think I'm going to stick with my S20 Ultra, Note Ultra that is, and just keep it at that. So, with that out the way, let's get on with this video. Alright, ladies and gentlemen of the YouTube citizens, y'all know who this is. Yeah, you got you gotta like, you know, make sure everything is correct, even though that just hurt my forehead, but whatever. It's your boy True Inferno here, and today's day is Thursday, January the 14th. So, we got some new events coming. One of them we already well actually we got we both of them we, we knew they were coming, but we don't know how they were gonna work until now, mostly. So what are the two events? We're going to get into it right now. But let's get into the one that's coming up sooner, which is next week. Check this out. Trainers, we're excited to announce that Hoenn will be the next region feature on our countdown celebration leading up to Pokemon Go Tour Kanto. From Tuesday, January 19th at 10 a.m. to Sunday, January 24th at 8 p.m. local time, Trico, Torchet, Mudkip, Taylor, Loudre, No Pass, Amron, Metatite, Roselia, Kavaha, Numo, Baltoy, and more will be appearing more frequently in the route. If you're lucky, you might encounter a shiny Aaron. But we already got that in the game. So how is that anything special? Let's continue on. Out of the list, Trico, Torchet, Mudkip, Aaron, Metatite, Roselia, Kavaha, and Baltoy will be the only shinies that will be available in the route, assuming what the other more will be appearing more frequently in the route part is. We don't know what that is, but let's move on. The following Pokemon will be hatching for five kilometer eggs. Skitty, aka Skittles, which can be shiny. Aaron, which can be shiny. Corefish, Lilith, which can be shiny. Anarip, which can be shiny, memory says correctly. Bagon, which can be shiny. And Beldum, which can be shiny. So interesting 5k egg lineup there. Enjoy event exclusive field research tasks that reward Stardust and lead to encounters with Pokemon such as Trico, which can be shiny, Torchip, which can be shiny, Mudkip, which can be shiny, Aaron, which can be shiny, Plusso, which can be shiny, Mining, which can be shiny, and Welma, which can be shiny. And I'll be honest, I got all those shinies, so none of those are appealing to me. The following Pokemon will be appearing in the raids. Trico, which can be shiny. Torchic, which can be shiny. Mudkip, which can be shiny. Walls, Aaron, and Bagon, all of them can be shiny. We'll be appearing in one star raids. Breloom, Marwau, which can be shiny. Grumpig, Spinda, which possibly can be shiny. And Abso, which can be shiny. We'll be appearing in three star raids. Kyogre and Groudon, both can be shiny. We'll be appearing in five star raids. Complete the Horan theme collection challenge. During the event by collecting Trico, Torchic, Mudkip, Nakata, Nakata, how you want to pronounce it, Nosepass, Aaron, Plus or Minor, and Bagon to receive three silver pineapple berries, XP, and an instance. Head on over to the Today View to track your progress. Evolve Matang, the evolved form of Beldum, through the event to get a Metagross that knows the previous League Committee D Day exclusive attack, Media Mass, an excess sighting. Event exclusive time research will be available. Complete the Horn theme time research task to earn the following rewards. Catch two Kyogre to earn 10 Kyogre candies, should be XL candies. Catch two Groudons to earn 10 Groudon candies, again, should be XLs. Catch 30 Pokemon to earn 30 Pokemon, which is stupid. Catch all the time research tasks to encounter, complete rather, all the time research tasks to encounter a Ray Crazer that knows the exclusive charge attack, Hurricane, as well as earn 3,000 XP, should be 300,000, and a Silver Pine Berry. If you're lucky, extremely lucky that is, you might encounter a Shiny Rayquaza. A free bundle featuring three remote raid passes to help you challenge Kyogre and Groudon will be available in the in-game shop from Tuesday, January 19th at 1 a.m. to Monday, January 25th at 1 uh, p.m. rather, I say a.m., 1 p.m. to 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Up next, Johto. 
An event celebrating the Johto region will be happening from Tuesday, January 26th to Sunday, January 31st. Stay tuned for more details as we get closer to the date. Please be aware of your surroundings, blah, 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 sign the Pokemon Go team. So, Owen is the next one, and I'll, I'll be honest, there's some things that are exciting, but there's some things that are like not. Obviously, the whole Matane thing, yeah, that's exciting. Kyogre and Ground are returning, yes, that's exciting, because even though they are legendaries that we are familiar with, but at the same time, we had the last time we seen them. It's been a while, hasn't it? It's been a pretty good minute, so that's exciting right there. The Recraza part is exciting as well. The free remote raid passes, three of them, is exciting. Could be more exciting if that was like a weekly thing, like I suggested. But a lot of exciting stuff in the Hoenn region, but there's some negatives as well, you know, in terms of like the Shiny Aaron, that's the highlight there, but whatever. That means I can go easy hunting these Pokemon because the majority of them, if not all of them, I pretty much got Shinies already. So it's like, yeah, I can take it easy that way. Just complete the collection challenge and take it easy. But we're not done yet, folks. Oh, no! Because now we know what the feature Pokemon will be for February's community today. And it's creating a bunch of controversies. Check this out. Trainers, did you know that a Roselia's flower smell more pleasant? the healthier it is the sentence said to be deeply relaxed to deeply relaxed people rather this February's community day is sure to be relaxing ain't that the truth then because Rosetta will be the feature Pokemon Sunday February 7th from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. local time Rosetta will be appearing more frequently in the round if you're lucky more than likely everybody will be you may encounter a shiny one evolve Rosetta during the event or up to two hours afterward to get a Roserade that knows both the charge move attack, the charge attack move Red Ball Fire type, and the fast attack move Bullet Seed. Take a few snapshots during Community Day for a surprise. Event exclusive time research will be available. By completing these time research tasks, you'll be able to earn Sinnoh Stones. There will be a special one time purchase Roselia Community Day box available for 1280 Poke Coins featuring an Elite Fast TM. Four instants, four super incubators, and 30 ultra balls. For one US dollar or the equivalent pricing tier in your local currency, or if you get the Kanto ticket, then this would be for free. You'll be able to access the Roselia Community Day exclusive special research story, Stop and Smell the Roselia. Remember, trainers, if you purchase a ticket for the Pokemon Go Tour Kanto event by Wednesday, February the 3rd at 11.59 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, you will get this special research story for free. Boudou will be hatching for two kilometer eggs, which can be shiny. Stay tuned for win tickets for the stop and smell the roses special research story goes live. Tickets are non-refundable, subject to a, you know, all that stuff. Please note that this special research will not include an in-game medal. The bonuses will be one form hatch distance when eggs are placed into an incubator during the event period, and instance activated during the event will last for three hours. Please be aware of your surroundings, blah, 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 sign the Pokemon Go team. So, I came out with a tweet saying, this is going to be the worst community day ever. And I believe that. I believe that. Now, granted, am I saying I'm going to get one shiny doing this? No, I'm not saying that. That, that first Charmander community today, when I only got two shinies in three hours, that one was the worst one. But in terms of the excitement level, this is it right here. Now, there's some people, I'm not naming any names, who responded to that by saying, yo, there's some people out there who don't have a shiny Roselia, so how can you say that? And that is true. And, you know, normally I would, you know, make that case myself and not trip over, you know, this type of event or type of scenario like this. And not to mention, because every single community day for the past few months, I literally been out and about driving, of course, staying ready for people, and taking part community day, doing live streams on YouTube and things of that nature. This time, I'm going to just kick back and relax from the comforts of my own home and live streaming on YouTube and on Twitch. So, there you go with that. But, here's the thing that I can respond to that in terms of people saying, oh, people never caught this before, whatever the case may be, uh, fiasco. And I can't take the credit for this one. I have to uh, shout out Reversal for this one. So, he basically reminded us that in October, we got Charmander, even though we voted for it, but we still got it, and that's just shiny, that's already in the game. November, we got two of them. We got Electrobuzz and Magmar, Granted, both of those, you can only get those shiny by uh, hatching their baby forms, but either way, technically their shiny forms were already in the game. 
December, we got every single Community Day Pokemon from 2018 and 2019, pretty much. And then this month, this weekend, this Saturday, we're going to get Machop, whose shiny form is already in the game. So, and then, of course, we got Roselia, whose shiny form is already in the game. So, October, November, December, January, February. So, we have five months where the feature Pokemon for Community Day was shinies that technically was already in the game. And we actually had six of these events. So, technically, six straight Community Day events featured Pokemon whose shinies form were technically already in the game already. And I'm like, yo, where's the new shinies at? We, the Community Day is missing the new shinies. That's one of the reasons why Community Day would be so hyped, because of the new shinies. And we have not gotten that over the past five months, and we have not gotten that over the last six Community Day events. That's a problem. That's a problem. So, granted, it's not that big of a deal for me because I can just kick back and relax from home, live streaming, and whatever happens, happens because I got a bunch of shiny Roselias. I got some shiny Roserays already. I even got a shiny Badoo already. So, I got the family set complete. So, it's, but at the same time, in terms of the excitement level, it ain't there. It ain't there. So, I, I, I'm not sure if this is a Niantic decision or a Pokemon's company decision. But either way, Whoever is in charge of this, whoever came up with this idea, y'all need to try harder in terms of the feature Pokemon for these Community Day events because that ain't happening. That's that's not it, Chief. That's not it. And I'm a card in the rap. So with all that said, y'all know who this is. This is Brian New Jay Gatsby, aka New Stephen A. Smith, saying peace out, y'all, and I'll see y'all next time. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, man. Right. Yeah. After you subscribe to the channel, make sure you click the bell icon so you never miss a new video or a live stream ever again. Thanks, guys. Lewis the trainer, articulating paint. With my tongue, I done things that people said I can't. Now they rank them with the elite, but it's for the people and victory is part of defeat. Cause when you get back on your feet, then you try again. Learn from mistakes, show them that I got what it takes and I'm dying to win. Okay. I'm gonna hit and move away.